Welcome back to USCFlames.com. We're here with head men's soccer coach Sean Phillips after the Flames pick up a 1 0 win over Western Illinois, finale of the USC Soccer Classic. Coach, big win today, obviously remaining unbeaten in the Classic the last two years. Your team created a lot of chances again, as they did on Friday. Got the one goal from Galunas. Describe your team's offensive play. Well, it was very good again today. Um, Western Illinois was, was a very different challenge in the sense that they were a bit more difficult to break down. Um, I think some of our tired legs made it a little more difficult as well, but the guys kept moving along, kept moving along, kept moving along, and uh, while we did create some chances, we were just missing. Their goalkeeper made a couple of very good saves. Their back four made a couple of very good um, breaking up of our passes, but at the end of it, it was nice to see Galunas. The other day against FIU, that same shot hit the inside of both posts and bounced out. And uh, I think the ball hitting the post and bouncing in was a very well-deserved bit of luck on our part from what we have created in a positive sense of play. I thought a balanced game throughout, you know, your back line, the, the young guy, Thomas Villanueva, really coming of age, and then Zach Coletta, both those guys are going to be part of the all-tournament team. Well, they, those two have been a rock all season. Um, I know we've given up a few more goals than we've wanted to, uh, but very much not, not resulting from them. Uh, they were able to lock down a very, very difficult center forward today. Uh, the number 17 for Western Illinois is a special player, and he's a handful. And uh, I think those two did a very good job of uh, bottling up a big part of their attack throughout the game. And what about Peter Kukulski managing the game back there? Well, I thought, um, you know, P Peter could have done a little bit better on uh, Friday, and it's nice to see him bounce back and starting to look, give us the form that he had during last season, which is the reason why he was the incumbent starter this year, and that's always important going right into the conference play, which, which starts on Saturday. Speaking of what's going to be the focus in training this week, got the preseason favorite uh, opening up this weekend against Wright State. Well, Wright State's a very good team. They're a very good passing team, very athletic. Uh, first thing we got to do is get healthy, give the guys a little bit of legs. These two games this weekend, um, coming back from 2-0 down, good character game on Friday and finding a way to grind out a 1-0 result at home on Sunday while they're good learning experiences to get us ready for conference, it uh, did take its toll. So the first thing's the health. Uh, I think we're gonna be able to look at a lot of video this week. Uh, nice thing about this weekend is a lot of guys contributed uh, throughout both games, which, which hopefully this year with the depth we have, we'll be able to play, play very well throughout the length of the conference season. Appreciate it, we'll talk to you this week. Thank you.